again, according to him, is uh, a system of suppositions. And uh, the main option of Rumi philosophy is philosophy is uh, a hindrance, uh, something which uh, prevents you from, uh, from perplexity. That's exactly what he says. It is a system, a system which is devised in order to eradicate perplexity. To eradicate perplexity. You think that you know the cause of everything, the definition of everything, the workings of everything, the dynamism, the mechanism of the universe, how the world has been created, how the uh, things work in this world, what are the causes of every phenomenon and so on and so forth. And that actually gives you the idea of the feeling that perhaps everything is under your control, everything is in your hand, and uh, perhaps you are a second god. So that, as I said, according to him, eradicates perplexity, which is the main uh, uh, element or the main commodity that uh, the contemplatives actually offer us. So, and then of course, uh, Philosophy, according to Rumi, is, uh, I mean, produces false and artificial questions in order to get its business going. So for philosophers, it is an incomplete, all, and they want it to be incomplete, because the, the moment that the philosophy is complete, I mean, solves every problem, so it is finished. You have to produce, create false and artificial problems in order to get it going. And uh, he gives us a very good example, a very good allegory of this. He said philosophy is like a bag, an empty bag, a thousand of ties and knots on the bag. Now you as a philosopher try to undo the knots, one after the other, one after the other, and perhaps you en enter a debate or a quarrel with your competitors and so on in undoing all these knots. But then, after undoing all of them, you will remain, you will be left with an empty bag. So the whole philosophy, the whole philosophy is just undoing, I mean, creating knots after knots, ties after undoing them. A thousand, a thousand of knots. So that the, the system or the science of knots and undoing knots. But knots on what? On an empty bag, rather than on a full bag. That if you undo all of them, you, 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 you uh, actually get a treasury or something, but that's not the case. According to Rumi, it's a very, very uh, uh, lined knot or whatever on a, an empty bag. So be careful. According to Rumi, this, after all the whole philosophy, in this he is, in, he is under the influence of Ghazali, of course. He was the arch enemy of philosophy and philosophers, no doubt about it, and he wrote a lot about philosophy and against philosophy. And uh, he was, of course, again, the, under the influence of the school of Ash'arites. That was also against philosophy and philosophers. And he has got his own reasons, of course. And uh, uh, his main approach, of course, is through uh, this love business, rather than uh, the uh, 